Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Great Day Washington. I'm Kristen Bursett Harris. And I'm Ellen Bryant. Mary Marshall is back with us on yes. our Wednesday. Always good to be back with you, ladies. Yes, we have a packed studio as well because today we are getting ready for the big game. So we have plenty of food for your whole spread. Yep. We also have a local Instagram dog star. He's an influencer for all animals on Instagram. He's adorable. And of course, Ellen. he is adorable. Adorable. Very, she, very, she is adorable. She's, She's very adorable. well behaved, She's too. <laughs> uh, and we have so much more in the show as well. And they bring us so much joy. But Mary, you're going to get us going, right? This morning yes. with the morning mix. Let's what you got? get started. Let's get started. Well, ladies, it is almost Black History Month, and Google has come out with an ad in honor of the month, and it's already gone viral. The company is highlighting the most search moments and most search people in America, and the top results mm. are often people who are African American. Google used searches between January 1st, 2004, when this specific data first became available through July 1st, 2019. I saw this commercial come up actually as a commercial and stopped to watch it, which is very rare for a commercial. It was just so interesting to see who has the most searched here. Uh -huh. And then I didn't realize it was for Black History Month until the very end. You start to think, oh wow, so many influential people in the black community. And then, I mean, it's an incredible commercial. It is a pretty bold move for them to even come up with the idea and then to make it an ad. Mm -hmm. uh, right. So, I mean, to take it from one level to the next, was uh, quite mm -hmm. interesting. Well, when you see the most searched talk show host, yes, uh -huh, obviously, of course. Oprah, uh, yeah, you know, ballerina, <laughs> everything is every the most searched is okay. Yeah, that he makes got sense. Winner. The John Legend. winner, mm -hmm. Whitney Houston, right? and um, very powerful. I love that. that yeah. That's an incredible commercial. It really is. It is. They're getting a good every day glimpse day. at it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, we got more stuff, ladies, uh, because there is some pushback to some comments made by actor Terry Crews. If you remember, he revealed that he was a victim of sex sexual assault by a top Hollywood producer. Well, he got mixed reactions from many guys, including 50 Cent, but he also got a lot of support from Hollywood women like Gabrielle Union. Now, Gabrielle Union alleges racial bias on Amer the America's Got Talent show, and people on social media claim that Cruz, in turn, did not support her. Uh, they, she, he didn't support her publicly uh, based on his comments on the Today Show. So Cruz sent out this tweet saying that he doesn't have to please anyone mm -hmm. but his wife. Not his mother, not his sister, co-workers, even his own daughters. He said he would let their partners take care of them. Hmm. <laughs> Holy. Oh, oh boy, this can't be given when all three of us starting with the <laughs> first off, what does that have to do with it? You know, it, it, it doesn't make any sense. And you know, it's this whole thing. And if he didn't see any of the racial bias that Gabrielle Union is saying, then say that, you know, mm -hmm. or he wasn't, you know, uh, particular to it. But these tweets that he's been sending out just don't make any uh -huh. sense and not helping his case either. I mean, he has a pretty yeah. good gig as host of America's Got Talent. Right. So maybe sure it's a fine rock the line. Boat. Mm -hmm. I'm sure he doesn't. Yeah, yeah. want to go past that. It's that like, line. who's going to say something isn't but peachy and creamy when you work there and you're getting your paycheck from there? So I get it. Mm -hmm. But here's the thing. Um, even if you can't say what you you know want to say publicly or whatever, empathize with the other person who's going through a different experience than you. Mm -hmm. What may be good to you may not be good to them. It's just it's not so matter how what he said, but kind of how he's handling uh, this situation. That I think he could have done a little bit better, especially for somebody who supported you when everybody else yes. was sort of kicking you down. Interesting, the tweet that we just read about I only have to please my wife. I think people are very upset about the daughters part. Like, why? The father is always to... the protector of the daughters. Right. The it's... father is, he's the protector of the entire household, whether you're married or not. The father is the protector. Mm -hmm. So that rubbed me a little bit. This dad, I'm a daddy's girl. So that yeah. rubbed me. I'm like, wait, what? My well, dad why do the partners have yeah. to take, take care of the women, have to protect the women? You know, his whole thing is let these women's partners take care of let them. Let their mm -hmm. men worry about them. Yeah. I, I mean, think he's just getting himself yeah, in a big we don't need, I mean, yeah. we're, we're strong enough. We can yeah. we can take care of ourselves. Um, but if you, you know, and Gabrielle, you may not care if Terry Crews doesn't want to be a part of this conversation, but just shut up. Yeah. Stop tweeting. Maybe oh a 24 hour silence sense. period yeah. on Twitter would be a good recommendation for him. Yeah. Okay. Just saying. <laughs> we'll see what he does next. I don't think he's going to be silent. Hey, did you guys hear uh, Prince William now has a new title? Mm. So we know we've been following everything with his brother, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle stepping back. So now the Queen has appointed Prince William the Lord High Commissioner to the General Assembly of the Church of Scotland. What does that mean? I was looking it up. It kind of like he's going to sit on a couple extra boards. This is something that has been going on for centuries. I don't, I don't know what it had to do, though, with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle right. stepping back the is new he, title, but I guess over? it's 
yeah. couple spots that Prince Harry had on the board. It or didn't something? say that. It said it was this new title. So maybe they're just trying to figure out. Okay, here's our new plan for how the family will, it could be. will line up. Kind of figure out the new hierarchy or like the the, the right. way it all the the power triples down. It does yeah. sound like a big. Fancy new title. I know. I mean, well, anytime you put a Lord in front of something, give ourselves you, know, some you put a Lord something on front of it. It's like, whoa, that's pretty big time. Lord High. Right. All right. Over uh, the Church of Scotland. My I goodness. Know. <laughs> I know. It, it sounds like a very important role, uh, whatever yeah. this title means. So interesting. Yeah, we'll see what it leads uh, to. Chipotle. Uh, can't stay out mm -mm. of the negative news lately. The Mexican fast food chain has been fined $1.3 million for child labor abuse. The Attorney hmm. General of Massachusetts says there are over 13,000 child labor violations in more than 50 locations. And that's just in Massachusetts, right? Right. Wow. The wow. biggest infractions include employees under 18 working past midnight and those under 18 working more than 48 hours a week. I had a job in high school. There's no way I could work 48 hours mm -hmm. in high school and absolutely mm -hmm. not pass midnight. As an adult, I don't like working right. past midnight. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah. this is... Well, a lot of the kids, that a lot of the teenagers that work there complain they couldn't get their school work done. You know, and a mm -hmm. lot of them do need the money and it's, it's, it's helping themselves and helping their family. But you can't take advantage of that. But the fact, too, that some didn't even have work permits. Mm -hmm. Um, they're just taking advantage of this cheaper labor that they can get because they know these kids need it. If it was like one or two cases or one or two students, yeah. but this is a, a lot of cases to be uh, reported. So it's like, okay, this is a, a company-wide thing. This is an issue we've got to fix. But let me be devil's advocate. What parent let their kid work mm. the 48 hours a week? Mm -hmm. I was in high school, I had a job. My grades slipped a little bit, not by much. It wasn't like I went from like an A to a C, but enough where my dad was like, no, cut mm -hmm. your hours, and right. if you don't cut them, you will be quitting. So parents have to take some ownership. And I, and I know that some people that are like, oh, well, the kids may have needed the money to help the family financially. I didn't grow up wealthy, but my education was to be paramount because right. you focus mm -hmm. on your education now, and then mm -hmm. later you can run a Chipotle instead of Working right. there right. after right. midnight. After Maybe midnight. they need yeah. to just kind of shut down. Remember when Starbucks did that to have some racially bi racial cultural, bias or cultural yeah. training? Mm -hmm. Maybe j with the the stuff with the the tomatoes being sick I mean, and the yeah. meat being sick. And maybe they just need to shut them. down and kind of reassess well, look everything. Look at their business. Like everybody needs a 24-hour cool-off period. <laughs> yeah, when it comes yeah. to Kristen. <laughs> 24 hours. Yeah, yeah I need a 24-hour <laughs> cool-off period. <laughs> Well, we're going to give you a little bit of time because the countdown to the 92nd Oscars is on and the nominees are actually already together celebrating their honor. We have Entertainment Tonight's Kevin Frazier with more. Hey, ladies, you know, it was two years ago that everyone at the Oscar luncheon wanted to take a picture with Kobe Bryant. It's the annual gathering of all the nominees. They take a class photo together and I'm going to take you behind the scenes of the luncheon. The morning starts on a calm red carpet. That's where the nominees line up for solo shots before heading into the dining area. What a thrill to be here. After a bite to eat, the luncheon host, actress Ileana Douglas, calls the nominees up on the stage one by one for the class photo. Leonardo DiCaprio, actor in a leading role. As the nominees take their place, they are literally surrounded by stars. Notice Leo's gentlemanly handshake with fellow Best Actor nominee Jonathan Price. Who were you with this year? Who were you beside? I was with uh, Quentin Tarantino and uh, Leo DiCaprio was in front of me. Cynthia Arrivo, actress in a leading role from Harriet. I'm standing next to Charlize Theron on my right hand side and Renee was in front of me. It was really cool. It felt like they had set it up to just be like us with friends. It was really lovely. Then after plenty of planned star collisions, it's photo time. Three, two, one. We'll have so much more in the next Entertainment Tonight. I'm Kevin Frazier. Back to you. Thanks, Kevin. We talked about this yesterday at the end of the show. Brad Pitt had a name tag on. <laughs> <It's a> name <laughs> tag. <laughs> said Brad Pitt. Like, really? Do you need right. that? <laughs> He's not very well known in that room. No. Clearly. <laughs> He's a newcomer to the scene. What an incredible group. 
talented, amazing people. It's neat to hear them be excited yes. that they have other people. We, we just idolize all of them, and it's like they're even excited to see their, their fellow nominees there. It's, it's like one thing them. to see them on camera, but when you put all that talent uh -huh. in one room, it's like, whoa. This is yeah. this is kind of big time, yeah, right? Yeah, it's some star star talent. All right, we are just four days away from Super Bowl Fifty Four. It's getting closer, mm -hmm. and now we're getting our first look at some of this year's commercials. Let's start with this one, starring Jimmy Fallon and wrestler John Cena. Working out. Sucks. Come on, man! You just gotta see the lighter side of this. Lighter side of this. Lighter side of this. Oh, this is it. This is how I die. Y'all ready for this? Uh. <laughs> the ad I also features, it. as you saw, Olympic runner Usain Bolt, huh. golfer Brooks Kepka. If you couldn't tell, the commercial is for Michelob Ultra. So a lot of star power in the Super Bowl commercials this year. Here's another one from Hyundai, also featuring some famous faces. Look at these two troublemakers. Hey, Johnny, how are you? Wicked car, is that new? Yeah, it's a Sonata. Let me pack it. Oh, you're not fitting your car in there. Chris, stop being a smarty man. All right. Look who's got smart pack. Smart pack? Just hit the clicker, car packs itself. It's smart. It's wicked smart. And I can pack it anywhere. I love wow. this commercial. Hyundai showing off its remote smart <laughs> parking assist with some famous Boston celebrities, if you couldn't tell by the accent. Oh, I could tell. Chris Evans, John Krasinski, Rachel Dratch, and even Big Poppy himself, David Ortiz, makes a nice. uh, makes a cameo. I sent this. My family's all from Boston. Sent this to them. I'm like, this is what you sound like to us. <laughs> Don't you think they exaggerated just a little bit? No. You don't think no. so? They sound just like <laughs> they that. They sound wow. just like that. Trust wow. me. Trust me. Well, I watch for the commercials on Sunday, so I'm excited. That's yeah, a good teaser. That's a good one this year. Also, ladies, we are seeing uh, uh, tributes continue to roll in honoring the late Kobe Bryant. A viral online petition is really picking up some steam mm -hmm. right now. I don't know if you've seen this. There's this petition. It's been making the round online, and at last check, it had 2.6 million people have signed it. So here's how we think the new logo would look. They want to change the logo to, to Kobe. It currently bears the silhouette of Hall of Fame basketball player Jerry West, or so everybody thinks. He was a friend and mentor to Bryant. The petition proposes changing that silhouette to Bryant. Fans, including celebrities, have already shown their support for the change from Snoop Dogg, your Snoop Dogg, to Usher. The NBA logo is unique because it's the only major American sport that features an actual person. However, mm -hmm. the NBA has never confirmed that it's Jerry West. Right. They don't want to confirm that it's an actual person. Hmm. Right. So I wanted to know how Jerry West felt about it, and he said he said before, I think it's time to change it if it is indeed him. He said he's never gotten that confirmation either. I could see either. a commemorative mm -hmm. one coming out, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Well, the petition goes on, and so do we. Mm -hmm. We will see you right after this break.